Caribbean cricket came alive in October 2012 when the West Indies lifted the ICC World T20. They celebrated to no end and the world watched with a feeling of happiness. A few months down the line, they are battling for qualification into the semi-finals of the ICC Champions Trophy 2013. The same team that took the world by storm needs to do it again this time. Up against them are South Africa and it wouldn't be an easy task. When one looks at the West Indies team, one says, "Wow! I mean, just look at the strength in their batting and the dynamism in their bowling. How can a team with such formidable players be so inconsistent in one-day internationals?" Let us first have a look at their batting lineup. You have Chris Gayle, Johnson Charles, Darren Bravo, Dwayne Bravo, Marlon Samuels, Ramnaresh Sarwan, and Kyron Pollard. They also have a Darren Sammy who can score quick runs. This is a very explosive batting lineup full of power players who can alter the course of the game in no time. But they need some sanity to creep in. That has to be provided by Darren Bravo and Sarwan. However, they should not consume too many deliveries. as that would only end up in piling the pressure on themselves and the others gail also needs to stay on longer the fear that he instills in the bowlers is unparalleled and if he can prolong his stay one can only imagine what would happen as far as the bowling is concerned it is their strength as they have ravi rampal kimar roach and sunil narayan darren sammy and dwayne bravo play supporting roles they need their batsmen to give them enough runs on the board to defend as a few quiet overs can put a lot of pressure on the opposition this bowling has already shown what it is capable of in this tournament and it is time the batting shows more responsibility and strikes form as a unit an encore of the icc champions trophy 2004 is what the caribbean wants to see